So if you've been following my YouTube channel, you know that I'm working on uh, building a robot. So this is an update on uh, where I am with that project. I've been working on the skull of the robot. And here it is. I made a few modifications since last time. I've changed the mechanism for looking inside the skull, so I have better access to the different components. And I also changed uh, the eyebrows, the lips, and also added the uh, two sensors for the nose. One can detect alcohol, and the other one it can detect uh, smoke. So I'll know if there's a fire nearby. If I stay close to the robot, then it will probably be able to detect uh, if I had too much alcohol. Very useful features that I'm building in here, especially the last one. Um, moving on, so if you look at it now, it's more complete, it has a lot of servos for the lips and the eyes and the eyebrows as well, and I've also updated the neck mechanism, there, there's a lot of things going on here, and uh, my plan is still to use a Raspberry Pi to control the robot, uh, but I think it will be a bit too crowded here inside the brain, so let's see if I can get it uh, to fit in here, uh, like this or I can do something else. It would be really cool if the actual control would be in the, in the head. I 3D printed the vertebra. I use a piece of foam in between the vertebra and so it has some flexibility. And there is a wire that goes through all of these uh, to offer a bit of uh, support. It won't offer the support needed uh, to sustain the entire body of the robot, uh, but it's more to keep things together. And then this cool piece here, if you know anatomy, then you know it's a male pelvis. And um, I think it looks pretty, pretty cool. Uh, it took a while to print, uh, but it has this cool shiny black look. I got inspired a bit uh, in the way that I put the pieces together from some uh, model skeletons. So I still have to put all the pieces together. So as the next step, I'll probably do more uh, things with a camera, some image processing like object detection, motion detection, face recognition, um, facial expression analysis, so very cool stuff. I think the, um, the robot looks really cool, but it's still in a, a lot of pieces. I'm pretty happy that I got the head kind of ready, uh, so I can focus on the software part while I uh, 3D print the other components of the skeleton. If you like this video, click the subscribe button. Thanks! And also... Um, they look, I think, pretty cool. Whoops, gotta work a bit on that. <laughs>